Welcome, Hendrix Adventures. I'm over here at uh, Rimrock Lake, and uh, we're gonna do some camping today. Got a good little area, um, area I normally like to go. Um, so we're here. We do some camping, do some cooking, some exploring, and uh, have ourselves a good time. So we're gonna start unloading my gear, get up the tent, and uh, make a fire and. We'll go from there. So thanks for joining me. And uh should be a good, good trip, you guys. Nice and cold. Let's get to it. Got it set up now. And uh, you can see right in here, there's a stake that goes for the, the rain fly. Not really liking this design too much on here, but this will work. You know, <clears throat> this is uh, old Dark Trail outdoor equipment brand. Um, so yeah. It is a cheap uh, tent, but um, I didn't have enough time to set it up to check it out, but uh, I do trust it. I had this one before. I had this one. Um, I gave one to my dad, and then my brother bought one, so I really uh, trust in the brand. Very, very cheap, 25 bucks. Can't beat the price, but um, it is very, very well designed. It got really, really good view reviews on it. So... Um, this is definitely what I'm gonna use. It's lightweight, only weighs three and a half pounds, so it's perfect for hiking, backpacking, camping, that sort of thing. So if anybody who wants to travel light, this is the way to go. Um, definitely just the three seasons. Um, it's not uh, a winter camping uh, type of tent, but this will work. Um, I'm a three season camper anyway, so I don't really like uh, Camping in the snow too much, but anyway.
<laughs> I think that's a blue jay. <laughs> it's a beautiful bird. It was on my stuff there for a little bit. There he goes. All right, here you go, guys. Setting up the tent. Got the Ozark Trail, uh, uh, 10 degrees uh, sleep, uh, mummy sleeping bag. Uh, I like this sleeping bag. Very, very, very comfy. Will keep me absolutely warm. 35 bucks at Walmart. You believe it? Sleeping bag's a lot more expensive than the tent. But, What is very, very important is that having a, a good sleeping bag to be able to keep you warm. It's uh, supposed to be about 35, no, actually a lot colder than that. Uh, well, tonight I, I believe I, I looked at the temperature and it said it was going to be 15 degrees, so, which is cold. And uh, you know it's cold when it's too cold to snow. So, no snow on the grounds now, there's snow on the mountains. Uh, okay, I got it set up here. Uh, she is nice and, nice and firm. I'm really digging it. Um, it sleeps very well. I used it one time before. So, got the mummy sleeping bag. You guys have seen that in a video before, and uh, I stayed really, really warm. So, I've only used it. This will be the second time, actually, that I'm going to be using the sleeping bag, but it's good. All right, I'm liking it. Got that all taken care of. Brought some good stuff with me. I'm going to be having uh, some uh, a rice dinner tonight. And I'll show you what it is later. Um, and tomorrow, I'm going to be having some uh, open fire business and gravy. So I'm going to be cooking that. If you look straight ahead, this actually is supposed to be... Rimrock Lake it is all drained down to the brim just a stream running through so yeah we're gonna go down there a little bit and explore see what we can find some good stuff gonna gather this is definitely gonna be a good trip I'm super excited about it so got some cool stuff to show ya and uh, this is going to be like an Ozark Trail camping style. I have uh, my friend's Ozark Trail uh, camping chair. So we're going to use that. Um, thanks, John. Shout out to him. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be good to be able to use that. Um, so, but... It's cheap gear, so if you want cheap gear, come to my channel. So you will find, uh, um, I do a lot of research on some uh, cheap gear that uh, you could definitely use. Um, definitely not a long term thing, but it definitely does get you going for your first camping. So. I'm going to go get some uh, fire tender. <clears throat> Some stuff to use as a fire. Gonna have to track a little bit. Find me a dry spot. I think it rained a, a few times this week down here, but that's not too bad. But there's lots of resources that I can be able to use. Lots. I see all kinds of stuff. Just need to find the right stuff. Uh, this time I just didn't bring any fire tinder because I. And uh, it's good practice to be able to get uh, go and grab something that's natural that you can be able to start a fire with. So I see I see tons of stuff in here, lots of stuff. So we're gonna do some exploring. 
track through here a little bit, see what we can find. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, I can't make out this track, but see that there's a back pad right here. You can see. And then I only see three, but I'm not really quite sure what that is. There's only three there. Maybe possibly four. See, it's almost as big size as big as my hand. But that's okay. I think it's not nothing to worry about. It's probably gonna be a long time ago because you got these needles on top of it. So I think it's nothing to worry about. I only see one, maybe possibly something right there, but I don't know. Could this be the from the rain too? Most of the stuff like this, probably dripping from the trees, but no poop. That's a good sign. That's definitely a good sign. So, this got to be a game trail coming through here. But, shouldn't be too bad. I think I should be okay. Nothing to really worry about. Like I said, that's probably from, it's probably from the, the rain dripping down, hitting the ground. So, oh man, that's just sad. I don't know why people just throw trash on the ground like that. <clears throat> that makes me really, really upset. It's got scattered around all over the place here. <clears throat> that's why they end up having laws and stuff like that. That's why nowhere you can really go around here is free because people do this kind of stuff. You know, pick up your trash and throw it away. That makes me really upset. <laughs> There's more down over there too. Yeah, that's, that's not good. When you guys go camping and stuff like that, please, I strongly suggest pick up your pick up your trash pick up your garbage you know there's a a park close around here just go and try to find a trash can and throw it away or you know what take it home you know that's one thing that really pisses me off I'm gonna say pisses me off is that uh, people do that kind of stuff but you know and then they wonder why there's uh, bears, you know, roaming around here. It's because they're going through the trash, trying to find food, you know. And they wonder why that uh, bears are coming down this way. Well, that's exactly why. <laughs> oh, man. There's, like, trash everywhere. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to come over here and freaking pick up all the trash as much as I can, you know. Do my duty for the forest and uh, take care of the land. You know that really makes me upset that freaking people kind of do that kind of stuff. But oh well, well, let's slice some tinder and get back to camp and get a fire started. I got some pitch here. Yeah, this is a little dried up, but this stuff. I know it would be really, really good for some fire tender. I'll get my knife out. This stuff. Oh, where's my knife? There it is. Oh, yeah. Let me get a piece of that. Oh. You can see. Oh yeah, it's nice and sticky. 
Oh yeah. Gather some more of this over and light right up. Seeping from this tree here. There we go. It's perfect. And if I run out, I'm right next to my camp. So <laughs> that'd be great. Got this, uh, my Uber Lemon ferro rod. And you see, I quite use the heck out of this. Uh, I really like this one. You can get it online. Well, there's different sizes, but this one was $32. I think the cheapest you can get it was about like $16. Um, eight, nine, uh, nine inches long. Eight inches, that's what it is. But I really like this one. So you can get a fire going here. Now, I see I'm having a hard time here. There we go. Come on, burn, baby. Starting to get something here. There we go. Couple of feather sticks here. Kind of use your knife and just kind of like just shred it a little bit. That way you can freaking light the tips as you can see. There you go. I stacked them up, made kind of like a funky looking tippy, teepee out of them. So that way they'll be able to burn, get some airflow in it. Took a little bit if we can get it to actually rolling and start uh, getting a little bit bigger, but there you have it. That's a good fire. That's an excellent fire. Just sitting here by the fire. Uh, got it going pretty good. But uh, get a little hungry. It's uh, 4.50. Oh, no, 3.50. My bad. 3.50 in the afternoon. Um, <clears throat> sitting here with some MRE crackers. MRE peanut butter. So, yeah, I'm going to eat that. And uh, top it off, I have a truly grapefruit. Uh, really like this stuff. It's that hard seltzer stuff. It's really good. This is like the last one I found. I actually found it in my uh, uh, to-go bag for my kayak. <laughs> so when I was digging through all my stuff, I actually found it. So um, I guess it was meant to be, actually. So yeah, so I'm going to get something to eat and uh, a little snacky poo. Ooh, that was a good sizzle. wonder if that's a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to get this to eat and uh, never really did show you the contents of it, but I have eaten these before on a trip, I think last year. Um, really sealed, really compact. You can actually get these online by themselves. 
Um, I'll try to have a link for you guys down below where you'll be able to find it. Not really sure if you can get it on Amazon or not, but I can get all that information to you. But uh, got this got the peanut butter. As always, as I take everywhere, I got my uh, Benchmade Bush Crafters knife. Yeah, it's uh, it's been used quite a bit, so it's still lasted. They probably need to start getting a blade on it. It's starting to get a little, but that's after a year of having it and not even sharpening it whatsoever. So, um, really good knife. And uh, I don't leave home. I don't go camping without it. Uh, backpacking, bush crafting, camping, you name it. I always have this knife. Oh yeah. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, baby. Mmm. Good. Excellent. Of course, if you guys don't like the taste, grab me one of these. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's starting to get dark already. Clouds in the sky. You see behind me, I got my uh, my Kelty's Noah's tarp. I string it over the top, and I got like a little area just in case I have to go in for cover. But. In this case for emergency, if it starts raining, I brought a poncho. And, uh, brought some gear I wouldn't normally take. <clears throat> so, cheers, you guys. Cheers to a good camping trip. And, uh, a little later I'll get something to eat and wasn't do some exploring I might still do that but just gonna chill here and relax a little bit <laughs> look at that well ducks is taking off in mid-flight yeah it's so awesome they're actually doing like a couple of rounds doing that. I've seen like four or five groups or so go on by and they stop right about here and they just freaking just start taking off. You see they they go <laughs> up in the air they go. So awesome. Okay. I got the two log meth thing going on here. Uh, I got this uh, little uh, barbecue rack that I have here that I actually took from a uh, small little barbecue. Couldn't find my good one, so that's okay. We're just gonna use this one. And uh, really simple, we'll find a good area right here and uh, get some water into it. We're gonna actually pour into it. Early life uh, water bottle. Yeah, I'll get some water boiling. I got some, uh, I got an MRE cocoa, I think that's what it is. I got to dig it out and I'll be able to show you guys. Um, hot chocolate. So you get some of that. And then um, we will get some uh, more water boil boiling for a good old uh, rice dinner. Uh, beans and rice, I believe that's what it is. that on also got my Hades Alpha Outpost cooking set also comes here with the uh, good little plate 
these two items will work really, really good for tomorrow when I make the business of gravy. So <clears throat> we'll get this boiling for a little bit and then uh, make ourselves some cocoa. Okay, the water is uh, boiling and hot now. Let's go ahead and get this off the fire. Oh yeah, stop boiling right now, but get some uh, ashes in there. Oh well, no big deal. So, it says to uh, let it sit for a little bit if it's purified water, but this is purified water. It's actually uh, water from the Conga and Alkaline water machine that we bought about a year ago. Uh, brought some of that today. Instead of just going down to the river and actually getting water all the time. <laughs> so, kind of cheated a little bit. Got more of a luxury than what I normally do on this channel, but uh, that's okay. So, cocoa beverage powder. Natural and art artificially flavored. Fortified, 180 calories, it's got 23 grams of sugar, 2 grams of protein, uh, 32 grams of carbs, carbohydrates, and 90 milligrams of sodium, vitamin A, 8%, calcium, 4%, vitamin C, 0 <laughs> vitamin B, 6 60%. So you got the B vitamins in there, B6, a little bit of energy, but there we go. It says six ounces of water, but to me that might just be a little bit thick. I don't like it too thick. So I got this 12 ounce Ozark Trail thermos, comes with a lid, and uh, got my FPA. Family Protection Agency sticker, which I am a part of. Uh, it's a really good program to be a part of, especially when you want to protect your family. They got some good insights and stuff like that on there. Let's get this going here. Try not to burn myself. I left my spoon in my bag. That's okay. I'll just get this mixed up. My good handy knife. Now, normally you would clean it off, but the only thing I had really on that was sap and wood and stuff like that. So I think we should be good. I didn't use it for anything else. Got my Cabela's thermal wear uh, pants. Uh, 32 bucks, I think that's what I paid for it. I don't know the price of it now. But uh, these are really nice, really comfy, keeps you really nice and warm. Of course, I got my North Face t shirt or sweatshirt. I had this one for, <clears throat> for quite a while, I had it for about uh, two years, I believe. But uh, just staying nice and cold or uh, warm. It is nice and cold, but I'm staying warm. And uh, just enjoying the fire, looking at the view. It's beautiful out here. Very, very beautiful. Sun's going down. Um, it's a little bit after 5 o'clock. And um, so I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to drink this. I'm going to get some. Uh, more water boiling and then we'll get uh, bust out my food for tonight and then uh, I don't know else I'm just pretty much just sitting here by myself <laughs> got some more water on the boil it got dark really really fast that's crazy
crazy. Hi. But that's okay. I didn't bring uh, my good set of uh, tin set of silverware. So <clears throat> luckily I had enough, I had some plastic ones that was inside the uh, the truck. Um, always forgetting something. <laughs> always. Um, but that's okay. That'll work. That'll work just fine. Um, if we had to redneck it a little bit, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. It looks like it should be. I don't know if you guys can see. You guys probably can't see it, but it's freaking boiling. Okay, got the water boiling here. So this is the Southwest Beans and Rice by Wise Company. I really like this brand. Um, really good stores life. I think it's up to two, three years. I think I ripped off the tag. But this will last you a pretty long time. Um, so I believe it can last longer. I know they put dates on it, but in my opinion, I think that lasts a lot longer than that. So, no, don't want to cook that. Okay, I got this uh, by my spoon. It is dark outside. You see the clouds is covering the moon. <laughs> it's like pitch black out here. That's okay. I will. Uh, I guess how it tastes. Mmm. When you're hungry, this definitely does the trick. I can use some spice. I believe I brought some. somewhere at this big old bag of food most of it is flour and butter and stuff like that for tomorrow but never could say know how to say this but it's like uh, I think it's called the Congolens brand Congolens I think it's Congolens but you all good. You got some good stuff. You got some black pepper, garlic salt, cayenne, curry, paprika, and salt. Definitely can use some uh, salt and maybe some garlic powder in it. Good now. Yeah, I'm just eating out of the bag because I really don't want to get my uh, <clears throat> my bowl and stuff like that all nasty because then I'm gonna have to wash it out and and uh, so. Just gonna use the bag this time. That's what it recommends anyway. Oh, salt did it. Salt gave it a little bit of um, some spicy spice. Some tang. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
course. Should have plenty of water for tomorrow. And, uh, Ah, sorry about that, guys. I was parched. Definitely needed that uh, a little bit of water. <laughs> so, haven't busted my rum yet. And, uh, mm. good, 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 good. Well, it does it, you guys. I'm uh, going to sit here by the fire, enjoy what's left of it, and then um, hit the bed. And then I'll definitely see you guys in the morning. But, uh, like I said, I didn't want to, you know, BS too much, but, um, definitely have uh, a couple of things planned for tomorrow. we we'll try to see if I can do some, some explore before I head out of here. And then, uh, business and gravy. I'm excited about that. So, I'm going to eat this meal, drink some rum. End up bringing the whole bottle. Caliber. Caliber freaking Caribbean spice rum. I just brought the whole bottle with me this time. I'm not going to drink it all. Uh, definitely need to stay a little alert. Uh, don't need to be passed out drunk. Um, so some people are here over here anyway passed out drunk but that's not my lifestyle so anyway sit by the fire and uh, had a good day uh, relaxing and uh, seen some cool showed you some cool stuff in nature and uh, hopefully you enjoy um, I'm gonna put this in two parts so you'll see the next one coming up uh, soon and then, um, um, yeah, but I will see you guys in the morning and I will sign out and say good night. <laughs>